morning everyone and welcome back to Japan. We're in the town of Hameji today. Morning. Which is famous in Japan and around the world for having the most magnificent Japanese castle in all the lands. <laughs> Not really sure what's going on here, but Tilly's got a morning coffee. We've got this lovely guy. And this um, guy who's uh, waving to the kids. Yeah, the coffee's delicious. So I'm happy. Yeah, Tilly's happy now. And then we're going to go to the castle to make me happy. So let's head there now. I am excited for the castle too. Liar! I just want to have my lovely coffee with my lovely friend. Hello, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Woo! Woo! What are you guys doing? Is it a festival? Festival. Wow, what festival? Um, just uh, how we say in a like a Thanksgiving day. Oh, Thanksgiving like, day. Like, oh, in in all of Japan, it's this day today. Um, it's a, each 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 shrine is a doing, but it's a last, you know, festival oh, in this area. Okay. Wow, amazing. Mm. I like his outfit. Yeah. So that was a you know um, portable shrine. Oh, right. Portable shrine. Okay. Yeah. There's a there's a kamisama god. Nice oh, amazing. Yeah. Good luck. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. There we go. The mystery solved. It's uh. I thought. Oh God, I just said Arigato. I mean, thank you. Huh? I just said Arigato. Still working on our Japanese. Um. Yes, Japanese oh, Thanksgiving Day today. Well. Anyway, let's go to the castle, which you can see looming into view now at the end of this road. With these guys in fluorescent jackets as well, and now I think we're weird. Here we go, we're crossing the moat. It's actually not that big of a moat compared to a soccer castle. Yeah, but like. I think this one has three moats, or it used to have three oh, moats. Okay, fair. One of them got buried underground, so I presume this is the second moat, and then there's one more moat inside. Okay, that, that would make sense. So what makes this castle so special is it basically has the best preserved, like, defensive systems for a castle in Japan. Nice. Um, it's basically in the best nick of any castle, um, as it would have been back in the day. When was it actually first built? Who? <laughs> oh? Get back to you on that one. Hey, <laughs> you your dog. Oh. They do love pampering their dogs in Japan. We've seen them in push chairs with little outfits on. Gotta love it to be honest. It's nice to see animals treated well. Don't worry, I got this. <coughs> you wish. One day. I was learning Spanish, but we decided it was absolutely a complete waste of time. It's not a waste of time, Duolingo. No, waste sorry, of time. yeah, yeah. If you're uh, not actually practicing it while speaking. I got into like streak day, I had like 230. And he's like, like, my streak, my streak, I need my streak. I'm like, speak and Spanish like, Let's to do me. some practice. I'm like, hola, me llamo and Hola. Tis. Hola. Oh, maybe it's not all wasted. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? It just looks so new. It went under a lot of refurbishment in 2015, I think. To be restored to its original white colour. But like all Japanese castles, it became. Cherry blossom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the first cherry blossom we've seen in Japan. It's still quite emotional, the cherry blossom. I know, I don't think it would have happened at this I mean, time of year. Like cherry blossom, cherry blossom. I mean, I don't think it's in full bloom, obviously, but you can imagine that if it looks. Still, though. Yeah. We'll take it. I don't think we see any. At least they've got a mat here. It's like the Anfield sign. I haven't been into a castle yet, have I? No? Oh, yeah. Very special moment. We've got to take our shoes off before we go in the main keep. The irony is, I just worn those socks three days in a row. They're probably dirtier than his shoes. Don't say that too loudly. Very steep. Workout. We're only here. We're, we're on the, the sixth floor. We're on the second floor right now. Yeah, the castle's comprised of 83 different rooms, which all have defensive capabilities. So basically, as if a siege was happening, you could keep retreating higher and higher up into the castle, shutting off rooms, 
There's yeah. like holes in the ceiling to drop stuff down and you're in the enemies. These are some steep staircases. I wouldn't want to be coming up here when someone's chucking like hot oil and rocks at me. We're up on the fourth floor now. We're making pretty quick progress. And yeah, there's not really much to see. It's obviously quite bare right now. It's just kind of the wooden... Empty wooden rooms. That's probably what they chuck stuff out of. You know, like these holes. And obviously these to fire arrows out of. Or bullets. All right, up again. Here we go, the top floor. Wow. Get smaller and smaller. Well, that's a shubs up here. Yeah. Well, there's a shrine out. Wow. Really cool. You can really see over everything here. This is probably where the emperor or the shogun would look down on his subjects. A nice bottle of sake and sushi. You want to repeat that, Tilly, for our, for our viewers? No. Tilly said, we're not putting money in the no. shrine because she no. needs more baked goods. I think so. <laughs> you said it. Are you wielding a samurai sword? Do you want to go? You pick it up. It's really heavy. I'll be terrible, wouldn't I? Hold my uh, smelly shoes. You're not actually going to walk. You need to put everything down. Oh. <laughs> An exhibition. So this is how far the castle used to extend. We are just in this middle keep. There used to be more moats, more walls. And the more noble you were, so the samurais, the emperors, the wealthy people would be near the centre and the peasants and the humble tradesmen would be further on the outside. Where would you be? I don't know. Right at the top. Rapunzel. Help! 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 Arigato! Hi! Arigato! I've got our shoes back break. on now. Tilly's uh, pocketed the... No, that's not ours, oh, I don't right. think. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Arigato. Hi. Tilly's stolen the plastic bags that our shoes were in. It's not stolen them. They were going to go in the bin and we need them for the rubbish in our bag, in our car. Finding bins in Japan is really, really difficult. So you need lots of bags. You can put your rubbish away and carry it around with you until you find a safe place to dispose it. We were carrying some rubbish. I'm not kidding you, for about five days. Yeah, our car was starting to smell pretty bad of soy sauce not and find fish. Any rubbish. It was cool in there, it was a lot cooler than uh, the inside of Osaka Castle, which is just kind of like a modern museum. Like, It was a bit bare in there, but um, it was good to see kind of its original format. So that was the inside of Hameji Castle which was originally built in 1333 by Akamatsu Nokimura, who just built like a little fort on top of the hill. And since then it's been renovated, rebuilt, redesigned by loads of shoguns, emperors who come through Japan. I think this lady actively asked me to just move out the picture. She's giving it a hug. She thinks it's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> Rugby tackle, odds on. Wow, there's a lot of pee down there. We could use that for more baked goods. Should we send you down on a rope? Croissants. Come back here later. About 5,000 croissants in there. Oh. Hello! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Floaty! Don't worry! <laughs> I love this. Alright, we've left uh, the Meiji Castle, which was rather spectacular. My favourite castle in Japan so far, definitely. And now we're gonna go and get some baked goods. Get some snacks. Get some baked goods or Tilly starts getting moody if we don't get enough baked okay. goods. Huh? No, but this is a really lovely bakery run by this local woman who's so sweet. Should we get a burger eggs? Nope. What? Look how one cute it is. Good each. Ellie said we're gonna have one baked good each, not that oh my god it's shut. No, it's not. Oh my god. 
Okay, and there's the cheesy bread, but, but sausage and cheese muffin. Hang on, don't make any rash decisions. This is everything that's left though. Yeah, Ed, what should we get? I'm actually gonna get this. That looks quite filling, doesn't it? It's cheese. Oh, eggplant and bolognese for capture. Look at this, fried curry donut. I'm not sure about that one. Which you are. How delicious. You like it in here, don't you? Yeah. Yours looks good. Share, should we share? Depends how good yours is and how bad mine is. Arigato. Mm. You're probably thinking like, why are we eating a pizza and baked goods in Japan? But I swear like, Everything Japan does just tastes good. Like, yeah. This tastes like a good. I don't even eat it yet. It tastes, <laughs> I know it tastes like a good pizza. Like they just they just make everything so well. I just don't know what the it is. ingredient quality. I think is really high. That looks good. Nice. What's yeah. the verdict? So good. This is hands down my favorite thing to do in Japan. Oh, Ed, the pineapple is quite cheap. Cheap? That's not cheap. Yeah, but it's good for us. No, 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 absolutely not. Put it down. Keep walking. Keep walking. No, no, we're kind of on the next country. 3,000 yen for a bunch of grapes. It's insanity. They've got cooking lessons in Japanese supermarkets. Oh my god, that is so good. So you have to cook their goods. Look at all this sushi. Look at it all. All this stuff you see here is just prepared fresh in the kitchen every day. Look, this is a nice cheap salad, Ed. Do we want that? I don't know what we do. We're here for fruit, fruit only. But look how good the salads are. Keep walking. It's my job to shepherd Tilly through the supermarkets with minimum damage to our bank account. I love the supermarkets here. We found the cheapest pineapple. I love doing this. The cheapest pineapple in the whole place, 282. Wait. I said 82. 62. No, it said 82 on it. Tax. Oh, we just scammed. Is that enough money yet? I'll find out when it all goes in. Let's go. No. Yeah, oh. change due 28. Got rid of all of our coins. See how expensive it is to eat healthy here though, like it's, that cost us like three pounds. For two kiwis and some pineapple. But like, oh, that's not that. No, but compared to everything else, like a bowl of ramen costs that. It's true. Arigato. Our tour of Hameji continues with the Nadagiku Sake Brewery. The main event. What is sake, Tilly? Japanese rice wine. Oh, sounds fancy. We're going to go find out how it's made. Wow. Maybe a little taster. Whoa, we're going to get a bit drunk in here. 2001. Huh? You turn, you turn, you turn. I don't know why the trippy koi carp always do this. I presume it's because they want food. We're on a self guided tour. And these are the big, uh, what do you even call this? Like a fucking pot? that you stir with these huge sticks. I'm very confused what's going on. Ed, so be careful, what are you doing? I'm gonna need a demonstration. No, Ed, Ed, oh my God. Like this, mix up all the rice, <laughs> fermentation guy. Come on, let's show the inside of the pot. If you're just making it's stuff up. It's a high up. quality production. <laughs> you're just making stuff up. Stir it up, stir it up. I'm very confused what's going on. Yeah, I heard you come here and they take you on a tour, they give you some sake, but like we're just kind of walking around their brewery on our own. <laughs> Which I'm not, I'm not opposed to. No, hey, but it's just a bit odd, isn't it? See, like I told you my demonstration earlier was on point. Sake, 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 sake. Look at this size of this bad boy. It's full. That's what you say and you're like, oh, I'm only having one bottle a day. Look, I'm only going to the pint, the pub, the pint, the pub. I only go to the pub for one pint. Look, 30 day squeezer, ferment you control every morning work. Morning bro. Bloop. We still don't really know what's happening. Are they gonna offer me something to drink? I want to drink it. 
Seems like she's been fermenting for many years. Do these fit me well? You know about that? Yeah. It's a self-guided tour of the brewery. Looks like this is set up for about a thousand people, but there's no one here. Konnichiwa! Closed. Okay. Absolutely no idea. We're gonna sing. I think complicated, I'm living. That's my uh... What's that? Why do we have to go make things so complicated? Nah. Where are we? I don't know, this is what I was expecting. It's very strange. Or maybe they're shot. I don't, I don't really know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know, like, we're here now, so... The old samurai armor. Well, maybe that's where we should go. Arigato. Arigato! I don't know what's happening here. It's like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, Willy Wonka's sake factory with like loads of old small Japanese women pushing around carts. Huh? huh? You can try some. Yeah! You choose your recommendation. Okay. My recommendation. This is most popular item. Oh. Yeah, okay. Special sake. Yeah. Wow. Here Arigato. Arigato. Cheers. cheers. What's cheers in Japanese? Uh, kanpai. Kam kanpai. 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 <laughs> kanpai. Down in what? Oh, wow. <laughs> strong. It's nice. That's strong. 15% alcohol. Wow. Mmm. It's good. Very good. nice. I like it. Yeah. This is yuzu sake, Japanese citrus. Ah, oh. Japanese citrus. Mmm, that sounds nice. Here. Thank you. Go. What is it again? Kanpai. Kanpai. <laughs> oh, I like that. Mmm, that's really good. Thank you. Yeah, it tastes a bit less strong, doesn't it? And are all of these made here? Yeah. Wow. Everything handmade. Wow. Amazing. Mm. Well, brewer, it's female. Oh. Really? Only one female. Everyone. Perfect. Yeah. She is a very strong person. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Love that. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That was really what we were expecting. I mean, we'll take the free shots, but yeah, I don't know if we're just late in the day or something. But no, that, that shot's too bad. It's like a self-guided tour, and then I'm, I'm feeling a bit wave off those shots. Do you go out? You get turned up in a Meiji. Well, that was the Nadagiku Sake Brewery. Don't really have anything else to say, to be honest. Tilly, your thoughts? Maybe give that a miss if you're here. Oh, unless you want to come a bit earlier, I think. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you need to give it a miss. It's like, okay, it's sorry. free. You just walk around, you see some sake stuff, and they give you some shots of sake, I mean. What I found interesting is how old the ladies were that were working there. They were like 80, 90. Yeah, it was strange, wasn't it? I think it's a very old place, so since 1910, it says on that building up there. Yeah. That oh. lemon one was delicious. Mm. So you, you're right to drive over there? No, sh you good? Yes. We're gonna crash and die.